You're tired, aren't you? I'm so tired. <laughs> Good evening, and <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Just put my arm <laughs> over your face. Good. Yeah, we've changed. I've got to change the scenery. Exactly. Stuff. This is all different. The lighting might be different as well. That's because it is now. Probably 10 like, o'clock? Yeah. Ish. We have spent the past 13 hours watching, watching Daredevil. These, uh, Daredevil season 2. Um, I feel physically, mentally, and emotionally, emotionally drained. drained of everything. It's um, been a long day. It has everyone. been a very, very long day, as you can imagine, for the two guys just sat watching 13 hours of one scene. And TV a lot show. of pizza was so much pizza. Jesus. We're going to try and keep this fairly short because I want to go to bed fairly soon. Um, all we will say. Return to form, or what? When a series comes back for a second season, sometimes you expect the quality to dip off a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes it doesn't always live up to what the first season, especially because Daredevil had such a strong first season. A huge, yeah, huge first season. You know, as well, particularly in terms of scale, it was the first thing. And villain. Like, you, oh, I was yeah. thinking after Fisk, like, where are they going to go Roger now? Go. So we're going to go no spoilers to start off with, and then we'll go spoilers towards the end of the video. And we'll tell you when to turn off. Basically. Exactly. And start off with though those who haven't actually watched the series yet. If you have, if you've yet to even watch season one, um, yeah. go and watch it. Like anybody that is a fan of TV, uh, Daredevil ranks very highly. Yeah, like, not if, just, you, if you're into action movies as well, if you're yeah. into stuff like that, I mean, because the, the action in this show in both seasons is relentless. It's perfect. The current fight choreography is it's off great. the charts. Um, yeah. I mean, we, we even checked budgets earlier on, which we were like, seriously, the fighting in this is so good, like, how much money are they paying yeah. plowing into this? Like, exactly. Um, and you can tell instantly off the bat that the second season is is on a larger scale, not necessarily in terms of, of setting or anything, because it still takes place in Hell's, Hell's Kitchen, kitchen. Um, but in terms of pacing, in terms of how much they actually get through, um, it is... it kicks yeah, off. Yeah. The whole series is this season two is very punchy. Like it's a lot, yeah. you know, there's a lot going on, and it, it chugs on quite nicely. I think there's a bit of a lull towards in the, the middle. Sort of middle yeah. yeah, in the middle, couple of episodes. You think it's it's you know, sort of thirteen episodes long. They've got a, they've got a structure that they work with, um, as most sort of TV series do, yeah. where you, you're going to have filler episodes. You get a sort of lull in terms of you know intensity. You don't necessarily get a lull in terms of what's actually going on. You no. just get. A bit more exposition, a bit more sort of. There's a lot of talk, a lot more talking. Like, yeah. like the, the, the talking sequences are a lot longer in, than the episodes where there's more action. Yeah. And overall, what did, what did you think? I loved it. I, yeah. I literally, with that, I was probably sitting and watch through the season again. I don't normally watch three seasons no. after I finish them. I'll probably watch through that again. The, the first and only time that I've seen Daredevil season one, I did exactly the same as we've done today. Yeah, I didn't. I, for I that. took yeah. the day off and I binge watched the entire thing. It is amongst one of the strongest TV shows out there. Oh, 100%. Um, it was the first of, of the Netflix Defenders series, and so there was no real expectation there. People yeah. were, were kind of just waiting to see what happened, really. Um, and obviously, we all know that Daredevil's been been done, and not necessarily to death, but it, it's been done. It had its moment. The athlete, um, yeah. And you had you had the doubters. I think they were sort of fairly quelled after season one came out. The only thing to come out of, of, of the first season was people weren't too sure about the costume. But then you've got to think, it's season one of a, of a development phase. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was an introductory as well. Because yeah. obviously you've got to think at the beginning of last season, he's just running around in a black suit yeah, exactly. with a funky mask on. It was, you know? it was more of Daredevil year one than it was yeah, of an yeah. or, origin story. Yeah, yeah. What was your favourite part of this season and your least favourite part of okay. this season? John Bernthal as the Punisher, like yeah. his his character and his performance is up there with one of my favourite TV performances of all time. Well, I said to you on I think it was about episode eight. I turned to you and I was like, "Is he, he stealing the he show?" He steals the show. Worst part of the series to me, there were other characters that may not necessarily. There were a few bits, name names, Foggy Nelson. Foggy, yeah. Um, for those people who thought in season one Foggy was just a bit of a whiny bitch, then <laughs> don't really expect to see anything else other than that. He didn't, I found like the character had no direction this season. No, he had real, no real purpose or drive. He was just kind just... of there, and it was like because he was such a strong character in the first mm. season, um, they felt obligated, felt like to, obligated keep to keep him in, mm. and he kind of just gets lost in the shuffle a little bit, especially because at the end of the day, you had two. Big, big characters oh, introduced this series with Electro and Punisher. It's more about the balance between 
between those every, three. Between yeah, those well, yeah, three exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, got obviously three huge comic book characters. I mean, they have their own done. shows at the end of the day. One thing we did say at the end of this is if Punisher doesn't get his own TV show now, like Netflix run or even you know some kind of include in, further inclusion in, in the MCU, um, I'll be disappointed because he's really lit up this season for me. In a big, big I way. He, he, like I say, Tour de Force, he was just powerful. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I think really it would just harp on how good this season was. To be honest. Oh, it, because you watch it back to back, I didn't really find myself, um, considering 13 hours of TV, it's, it's a long, long time stuff. to sit and we, just watch a TV show, people. That. Like, holy shit, like, I'm not doing this anytime soon. Right. Like, yeah, it was just a great season. It, it, it kept you on the hook. Yeah. Like even for those who are going to watch it on a you know a week by week basis, on a day by day basis, like it will keep you on the hook. There's there's something at the end of every single episode to Just keep like, it, oh, keep the momentum. Like going. if this was if this was in a format, obviously Netflix and nice, and they drop us a whole season at one time. If this was in a format of weekly, don't stress me out. Holy sh! Like cliffhangers. Don't stress me out. Like, there's a lot of points where you're like, oh, I need the next one now. Okay, so overall rain for the for the season. Out of eight, yeah, as we always do, because you know culture solid. 81 out of 88. I'm not going to argue, I was going to say 81. So 81, yeah. I'll, I'll just, we'll just wrap that up. Just gonna Consider just, it. Uh, oh, yeah. Just dunk it. Just uh, gonna, Kobe. Hang on, Ali, you There you go, that was really lame. We're, we're fucking tired, exactly. all right? Exactly, you can tell. So, knocking the apart. Exactly. So, we're going to go ahead and, and cut this here. Um, for those of you that don't want spoilers, for those of you that just don't, either don't give a who you've already seen. The, the show, or you're just like, whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just ruin the entire thing. Spoil everything. So, yeah, if you're gonna leave now, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and stuff. We'll do, do a well. proper exit in a minute. Exactly. So, here's cut.